Harlan Ackla with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation. You know when it comes to reverse mortgages, there's a lot of people say, well, you know, I don't want to do this because I want to give my house to my kids. We hear that hundreds, thousands of times over the years. And that's a very worthy goal for a lot of people. But the fact is, is the kids don't want the house. Great article in the New York Times a few years ago. Parents, the children will be fine, spend their inheritance now. Well, this isn't about shorting the next generation. But if we really take a look at the facts, the truth is, is that you really don't want to leave a house behind for your children. What you're trying to do is leave a legacy behind for the children. Most of the time, children have their own house and they have no interest in moving into your house because the only reason they come to your house is because you're there, not because they want to live there. So it's a very unusual and surprising thing that if you really ask your children, you will find out that they really don't plan on moving into your house when you're gone, no matter how nice it is. Now, where most of the money goes in an inheritance is for when people live too long. The longer you live, there's something called the cost of living. And so the longer you live, the less money is left behind. So if you live to be 95 instead of 65, obviously you will leave less behind. But do your children want you to die early so you can leave more money behind? Of course not. Very few children are hoping that you leave early so that they have more money. And I guess if they do want you to die early so they can get more money, they probably should not get any inheritance at all. So the bottom line is, if we really look at the dynamics of how this works, when you are leaving something behind, the most important thing to leave behind is your legacy and your love and the things that you taught your children. But when it comes to money, and when money is the issue, it is often better to leave behind a life insurance policy, an IRA account, or something else that is already has the cash and leave less equity behind for the children because after all, you don't know what that equity is gonna be worth a year from now. Say nothing about 10, 20, 30 years from now. Talk to your children about this and you might find out that after the funeral, they have no intention of bringing a U-Haul and moving into your home.